morning everybody and welcome to the Wall Doc Way. Technically it's afternoon now that I just said morning. Um, it's about 12.30 but either way we are excited to be sharing a day in the life with you guys today. It is just going to be a typical Christmas school day for us. We are staying home and just kind of enjoying our time together. Nothing fancy, nothing special, no extracurricular activities. Um, it is kind of a rainy day for us here in Florida, so we probably will not be able to get any time outside, which stinks, but that's okay. We'll make the best of it inside um, with whatever we can do. As you probably have already seen, we start our day obviously later since I just told you it's 1230. Um, we typically get up between 10 and 11. This morning it was 1030. So we got up. We have done our morning chores. We've done all of our Advent things. We've gotten ready for the day. And now we're getting ready to sit down and start our morning time at about 1230. If you are interested in our holiday homeschool plans, if you missed that, I will link that up here for you so you can kind of see a little bit of everything that we're going to be doing and the reason why and our plans and all of that. Um, and then if you want to see more about our Christmas schooling tradition, if you're new and you don't know what that is, I will leave some links in the description box so that you can check that out. All right, you guys, let's get our day started. What do you want to start with today, Emily? Mad Libs! Of course, you always want to start with Mad Libs. All right, today's Mad Lib is Santa's favorite cookies. Well, that's perfect because we're going to do cookies later. Yep. All right, give me a noun. Hmm. Slay. Okay. Give me another noun. Presents. How about just present? Present. Because it didn't, didn't ask for plural. plural. Oh, right. Yeah. Good call, Dad. Another noun. Um, puzzle. Okay. An adjective. Fun. Okay, we're ready? Yeah. Wait. Here is Mrs. Claus's recipe for jolly cookies. Preheat your sleigh to 375 degrees. In a large bowl, combine one cup of present, a teaspoon of puzzle, and a fun teaspoon of salt. In another bowl, crack one reindeer egg and add a teaspoon of oil. Beat brightly, then combine all the ingredients and build. Chill the dough, roll it out quickly, and use cookie cutters to make festive shapes such as Christmas books and holiday trees. Oh, Christmas books. Bake until the cookies are beautiful. Allow them to cool and then decorate them with sprinkles, icing, and pillows. And now for the best part. <coughs> Eat as many elves as you like. Just be sure to save a few for mistletoe floss. Do not eat the elves. <laughs> Ready to do our Christmas activity for the day? Totally. Okay, open the box and let's see what activity you have. Let's see which one did I get today. Wow. 
What is it? What is it? I wonder what it is. Oh, cool. This looks so much fun. Oh, it's similes and metaphors. How'd you know what that look in here? Because I prepped them all. Silly girl. <laughs> all right, so you have a metaphor stocking and a simile stocking. So you are going to determine if it's a simile or a metaphor, and then you're going to sort it into the correct one. Now, do you remember what a simile and a metaphor is? Um, could I have a refresher? All right, so let's look up a simile in our reference book here. Simile's S, so it's going to be somewhere in the S section. Yeah. Here it is. So right here, 109 and 129, so let's look 109 first. And then 129 yeah. next. Okay, so 109, here we go. This is similes and metaphors. A simile compares two things using words such as like, as, as though, or as if. So examples, Greg was ha as happy as a hippo in a mud bath. <laughs> Laura has hair like a bird nest, but she acts as if she's a princess, okay? And a metaphor compares two things without using words such as like or as. Instead, it describes people or things as if they were really something else. Claire is a walking dictionary. A golden ball blazed in the sky. A blanket of snow covered the hills. Okay, so is that a good refresher? You think yes. you're good now? Snow was a white blanket over the brown grass. That doesn't have as or like in it. So, so it must be a metaphor. Okay. The tree was a statue of lights and tinsel. Metaphor, no Very as good. or like. smell really good. Mm, I want to eat them now. You have to wait for them to cook. Luckily, they only take 18 to 20 minutes, so that's not too long. Yeah, true. Maybe we can play our new spot it game while they cook. Yeah. And then that way it won't seem that long. Yeah. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> Are traveling to New Zealand we made Anzac biscuits so let's find New Zealand on the globe can you see if you can find it oh I found Australia okay it is near Australia mm. it's right here right to the side of Australia oh there it is so that's New Zealand. So New Zealand, an island country in the South Pacific, celebrates the Christmas holiday by mixing traditional holiday images from the Northern Hemisphere with local imagery and plants. Grab a cookie. I wonder. Can I eat it now? Yep, go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. I can't even taste the coconut. Literally. Are you talking with your mouth full? <laughs> Yep, that is a good cookie. Okay, so did you enjoy the treat that Santa eats here? Yes, I actually did. It's a pretty good cookie. But it is pretty good, and she's right. You can't taste the coconut at all. It's just sweet. That's a really good cookie. It's a little crunchy, but... I kind of like the crunch. Yeah, me too. It is almost 5 o'clock, and at this point, we have finished all of our 
school type activities that we had planned for the day. Um, we will all go our separate ways and get some work done. Emily will have some free time to do whatever play she wants to do. And then we will come back together for dinner and some sort of family activity before bed. So that is what the rest of our evening will look like. <music> 